Hello everybody, Caventia here, but you can call me Cav. I'm here with the new Drake Cutter Rambler. It's a cutter. Let's check it out. So here it is, the Drake Cutter Rambler, exploration variant of the cutter with two cargo and space for one crew. Here we go, some first impressions. Got some yellow bits on it. Silvery-ish. And now it's got even less usable space in the back. Still feels kind of slow compared to uh, many of the other starters. It does have nearly 2000 quantum fuel, which is great. Honestly, I do prefer starter ships that have more quantum fuel as it means you can spend more time playing the game and less time refueling. It's actually really slow. With the release of the new 322 build that just dropped into live, they brought out the third and final variant of the cutter. It's the exploration version. You can see it's got some little boggly headlights on top. It's got a a few extra fins on the thruster. The main thruster has been replaced with a quad variant and it's still got the little extra side thrusters that the Scout has. It no longer has the spoiler, instead it's got these two kind of side spoilers and the top section of the vehicle has been raised in order to make space for some additional fuel. That about wraps up all of the changes for the exterior of the cutter. Let's check out the inside. Unfortunately, the rear and usable section of the cutter has been reduced. Now it's only about two SEU crates deep. In the back, as usual, we have all of the components. We have the shield, battery and power plant, what appears to be a larger cooler and a larger quantum drive. This is relays, radar and gravity generator. Through here we have the primary change to the cutter which is sealing off this area and giving us an additional gun rack. This section here is for the largest weapons in the game. We've got two rifle slots and four slots presumably for a combination of handguns and utilities. There is now a suit locker in the cutter. Unfortunately, suit lockers are non-functional, so this isn't an improvement to functionality of the cutter yet. These don't appear to be functional storage. These also don't appear to be usable storage. We've got what I assume will be space for a fire extinguisher. And on this side, we have a combination shower, sink, toilet. We have personal storage. To access, you need to use this handle, which is 0.65 SCU. There's also a small desk. Don't think that will be a working MFD. Does that work? Do you do anything? A small desk with a non-functional TV or NFD for non-functional display. I believe this is a small food or drink dispenser and we have a single jump seat. Single seat stuck to the wall here, which I guess is like a jump seat of the Pisces, kinda. And then it appears that nothing has changed in the cockpit. This is the same as the other cutters. And just FYI, the ship already had a gun rack. Perhaps this additional gun rack is useful for bunker running? I'm sure the suit locker will eventually be useful. However, it just doesn't do anything in game right now. And of course, it still has a bed. If I sound a little bit negative about the cutter, it's because we just had another cutter come out that didn't have any additional functionality. And now we've got a new one that doesn't really have any additional functionality. I mean, we've given up some more of the storage space and I don't really see what the benefit is of this one over the base cutter. In fact, I'd still recommend the base cutter over this because it has more usable space. But let's try and make the most of it. Yeah, I'm well aware this is a long shot, but let's try it anyway. I mean, it certainly looks like it fits. I just don't know what's going to happen when I close this door. Oh, or, or when I get out of it. This is my life now. You know, this can't fit a mule in either. 
But that's fine. I'm out of Atma already. I mean, it does only have 700 quantum fuel, but that's pretty reasonable. 400 meters per second in atmosphere. That's a heck of a lot faster. Oh, oh wow, that's that's dancing around a lot. Yeah, that's that's a whole lot of dancing going on there. Oh yeah, and by the way, two SCU worth of cargo space. The reason I use the mule as an example is because it actually fits inside the base cutter. Not just that, you can drive it in forwards so that you can get out, use your ship, fly around, get in it, and then back out. Whereas in order to use a mule in this, even if it didn't trap me in the new fancy fuel holding ceiling, you'd have to be in your cutter pilot seat, get a friend to reverse a mule in and shut the door, then take off, go where you want to go, and then get a friend to remove the the mule from your vehicle. This just isn't anywhere near as practical as the base cutter, or even the cutter scout. Let's try that. No, 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 no. Look, if you bought this ship as a starter ship, it's probably fine. It has the basics of what you need, a bed, some space for a couple of boxes, and it's relatively cheap. But given a choice between the Cutter and the 100i, I would pick the 100i every time. And if you want more storage space, pick the 135. But if you actually want to make use of some ground vehicles inside a very small starter ship, then the base Cutter is just better. That's my two cents on the matter. What do you think? I'd love to hear from you in the comments below. Thanks for watching, everyone. Yeah, I think that episode went pretty well. I was going to try and fit an X1 in it, but then that happened. So I guess they're going to wrap up this episode here. Thanks for watching, everyone. Take care and bye bye. Oh, also, I forgot to mention, unlike the Drake Cutter or any of its variants, you can actually order a 100i from Platinum Bay. <sighs> Meaning we can leave that whole horrible nightmare behind us. That request is already being granted. Uh, that request hasn't been granted. I I want an elevator and I don't have an elevator. Can I have an elevator? Thank you. Uh yeah, this this didn't exactly go according to plan. <laughs> Can I jump out? Can I escape? Can I dance my way out? Can I crawl? Maybe I can crawl. I hope you enjoyed this review of the new Cutter Rambler. I can't say that I could recommend this over the base Cutter or the Scout, because at least the Scout will end up having unique gameplay. Thanks for watching, everybody. Bye bye. That's it. That's that's all. That's as far as I can move the camera away. Bye. The new fancy fuel hold ceiling. Oh dear. Don't don't destroy my 100 eye, please. Those are my pants. Hey.